the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love, and you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we So, I just finished taking a shower, getting dressed I'm gonna head to Starbucks to get some breakfast and take out some trash. I thought about going to the store today, but I suffer from anxiety and I feel like it's Sunday. It's a couple days before Thanksgiving. Most people are off on Sundays and I feel like the stores are gonna be packed. So we're gonna skip out shopping today and I'm gonna see how it goes tomorrow to do some of my Thanksgiving shopping for the things that I need um, But yeah, I will see you guys later What was that again? Um, can I have the bacon and gruyere bites? Yeah, anything else to eat, my dear? Butter croissant. Would you like us to toast that for you? Yes, please. Can I actually have both, like, uh, extra toasted? Of course. And then, can I have, um, a grande ice brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? What size today? A grande. Okay. And can I have that with, um... Eight pumps of the brown sugar. Of course. And then can I try the peppermint brownie um, cake pop? Yeah. And that's it. All right. If everything on the screen looks correct to you, it comes to 1937. All right, guys. Got my food. I'm just going to show you guys quickly, and then I'm just going to eat it and turn you guys off. Because I'm hungry. Bacon, bacon egg bites, buttered croissant. I probably will try this for you guys, maybe at the end, we'll eat it together. This looks amazing. I love brownies, I love chocolate, so yes. My brown sugar, ooh, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna taste. Ooh. Look how pretty! I know I showed it again uh, before, but I'm gonna show it again. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. That tastes pretty good. It was like a really good first bite. And then I keep chewing it. It tastes a little doughy. Just a little bit. Um, but the peppermint and the brownie taste... 
it's a really good combination this is really good and i i just like the aesthetics of it look at the um look at the cake pop that's so pretty i feel like this is like not focusing oh there we go look how pretty that is beautiful a seven out of ten just because of the doughiness So I cleared most of the stuff on the carpet. I still have some things that like I have my TV over here as you can't really see um, sitting on a bench and then just some boxes still from moving. We've been here for a couple months but still haven't quite unpacked everything. Um, as you can see, I don't have a couch but that problem has been solved a couple days ago and I cannot wait to, sh to show you guys when it comes I'm finally gonna have a living room a complete living room well it won't be complete complete but I feel like a couch will that's like 70% of the living room right still got to do wall decor and like I said the TV here I'll show you guys it's sitting on a literal bench It's sitting on a bench. We have some of Winnie's toys that I just put there. Um, but for now, I mean, it's it works. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it on that bench. But the idea is that we're gonna get a um, TV, a dedicated TV stand. And then I wanna put the bench, um, bring it over here. There's stairs over here, so as people are coming up, there's like a little bench. I want to put like pillows and stuff on the bench, make it look really cute. And then I want to put like a mirror somewhere here. Um, but that'll be later on down the line. That's just my vision for now. Um, this little guy, Winifred, her name's Winnie, but my boyfriend said the name Winifred and I just can't get it out of my head. Because of her, I got this, and I'm gonna try this. Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. Um, just because, like, I don't know what my apartment smells like. You know, you live in a place, and you get accustomed to the smell. Like, you and whoever you live with have a natural smell the apartment has a natural smell depending on how you keep it so i just want to make sure it smells fresh and it smells nice especially since i have her she does shed um so i need to vacuum often as often as i can i'm really bad at that but um so we're gonna put some of that stuff down we're gonna vacuum and then we're gonna air out the apartment i'm like <sighs> I'm so happy that I can, I'm just, today's just a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. I love all the light coming in. It's been rainy for the past week, so I feel like I've been kind of depressed, honestly. There's, I'm in Florida. Florida's always sunny, and as much as I complain about the heat, there's been, like, no sun, like, at all. I feel like that hasn't happened in a while. I don't know what's going on, but every day, every morning that I go to work, I walk out my door, it's raining. It's gray, it's muggy, disgusting. Of course, Florida's bipolar, so today it was like, I'm gonna be sunny today. So it's just so pretty outside. So I have the windows open. I'll show you guys. Have the windows open. It just looks so pretty. And 
my view, which I love. It's the reason why this apartment was chosen. The pool. So I always feel like I'm in like a resort. It's really nice. I'm happy to, happy to be here. Let's get this powder down on the carpet. Put the pot, we're gonna put the powder down. We're gonna wait a little bit. Um, we're gonna vacuum everything up and then we're gonna open up the windows. There's a little dust in it from last time, but y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't vacuumed in a hot minute, so we're gonna see what it looks like after.
on so we're gonna go ahead and do a little quick tidy up of my hamster's enclosure i have a hamster her name is lucy and my boyfriend got me her as a gift for my birthday my last birthday um she is well we didn't know like oh, that's probably my i have a little camera uh that's on the enclosure um and it just buzzes every time it gets movement let me just turn off the buzz Um, we don't know exactly how old she was when we got her, so I don't know. We've had her since April, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So she's seven months from when we got her. Um, she has gotten bigger, so she definitely was like a baby, but she wasn't like super small. So it's hard for me to say. She could be a year but I'm not sure. Um, she's not gonna be happy because I usually, I mean, I try not to wake her up. She sleeps during the day um, and she's up at night. That's why I have a little camera because if I didn't have the camera, I would never see her or if you know, I didn't have some days that I was up uh, at night. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do, I'm trying to look, I'll show you guys. This is where she sleeps. This is her little nest. Sometimes she sleeps under here, so if she isn't under here, then that would be better because this is what I'm gonna clean. It like stinks, like it, it needs to be cleaned out. But yeah, this is her, I call it her hammy mansion. I have a little temperature thing. All of this, I knew nothing about hamsters um, until I found this girl. Uh, she's called Victoria Rachel, I believe. I, literally all of my all of this all of the tips how to take care of a hamster how to treat them properly are from her so if you think I'm being extra whatever I I just want to take care of my animals to the best of my ability I don't I'm not perfect all the time obviously I'm supposed to clean her enclosure w once a week it's been two weeks so it's time and I can't eat I'm not I don't have the time to do even a deep clean right now so I just need to do what like is necessary. They can't, they're not supposed to be like in their pee for a long time or else, you know, I'm assuming can cause infection, things like that. So my goal today is just to clean this. Um, I already refilled her water the other day, so her water should be fine. And I think that's all I'm gonna hit today, honestly. I could do her sandbox, but her sandbox is never that bad. It's 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 really this guy over here. So let's clean that. baby she's probably like what is going on mom i'm disturbing her sleep i'm sorry i'll try to do it quickly i know she's she's gonna come out because she's gonna be annoyed um with me messing with all the stuffing anyway um she'll probably walk around angrily for a little bit mm, her little paw. i'm gonna try to zoom <laughs> You gonna say hi to the people? No? No, she's done.
shop and I'll, I'll put it in the description but it's like a mixture of seeds um, worms crickets and I think like fish like dried like minnow or something like that I I, I always ask that um, she take the crickets out because she will not eat the crickets I don't know why and they're so disgusting to look at I do not like bugs and it just reminds me of like a dried up roach or something like that. Um, and they're like big dried crickets. It's gross. She's not happy. Whenever she's not happy, she tries to escape. You little, you little escape artist. I just got a new batch. She recommends that you like freeze it for 48 hours just in case any buggies got in it during transit. So that's what I did. Uh -uh. So, I'm just gonna feed her. There's this little, like, uh, there's a flower mixture, so they said that you're supposed to, like, sprinkle it, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it around her, um, enclosure. She's already gnawing on the bottom. Or if she doesn't like the smells. I'll just put a little bit, like, She's gonna jump. She likes to jump from there. <laughs> I told you she was trying to escape. You little shit. What she doesn't know is that she is gonna be getting a bigger enclosure. It's gonna be my Christmas present to her. So I, I forgot the exact square footage of this one, but this is from Night Angel which is a brand that provides um, hamster products, hamster houses, toys, food, bedding, and they have an even bigger one than this one. So my issue with the enclosure that I have right now is like, okay, so we got this because I thought it was super aesthetic with the oblique opening like that. But what's happening is because it's oblique, it actually like reduces really the height. And I really want the height because I can add more bedding. They're supposed to have a certain amount of bedding in order for them to be able to burrow. And what's happening is this used to be high. I know this looks low already. This used to be a lot higher. We used to fill it up at least halfway and just keep some of the back low just to put her stuff, like her sandbox, her wheel. She, there's a little ledge on the inside. She would like, she just keeps trying to escape every so often. So instead of burrowing, she would like use all of the, the leverages to make herself go as high to the top of the enclosure as she could to escape 
or she'd be hanging on to the little ledge on the inside. And I was doing a lot of research like, maybe she's not happy. Like, you know, what do I do? I did so much research and I have learned that female Syrians, so she's a Syrian hamster, are very difficult to please. So then that made me feel better because all this stuff is expensive as heck. And for me to feel like I'm doing all this and you're still not happy, god damn. So we, I used, to, she used to have like a caged enclosure. We got her this enclosure, a wooden one with the acrylic, you know, see-through stuff, which is nice. Um, I got her the log. We got her the little chamber, uh, three chamber thing from Night Angel that, you know, has she made her nest. We got her, oh, she's eating the flowers. She's so cute. Yay. I'm glad she likes it. Yeah. She knows I'm watching. Oh, it's probably something new. So she's like, oh, cool. Not the, oh, I guess you didn't like that big one. I love it when she drinks water because she grabs the, the little water spout with both of her paws and it just looks so cute. She makes me so happy. Long story short, I bought her, I just bought her everything. Everything that I could think of based off of the research that I was doing to make her happy. And she's still trying to escape. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm not doing anything crazy. Like, too crazy. Well, I shouldn't say that. The enclosure, it is pricey. Um, but basically, my next thing is just being able to increase the amount of bedding that she has. Basically, I can't put the bedding up high because she just keeps trying to escape. She keeps gnawing on stuff. Um, so if a bigger enclosure and without these, so instead of the opening being oblique, it's basically just going to be you open it from the top, like a top down type thing. I don't know how you say it, but it's just going to be a regular square and you just open it from the top. That way I can bring the bedding up and there's less, you know, there's, there won't be like a ledge so low for her to get to, to do bad stuff. Ah, so anyway, all right. So we're done with this. Um, maybe I'll do like a, a specific video just, just for her. She's so crazy. So my dog is not allowed in this space. So I'm trying not to turn my head towards my dog, but she's watching the hamster. You know how like, so my dog doesn't recognize herself in the mirror. So I never used to think she could see like the hamster. But one day I saw her like looking at the hamster in the evening. I'm following the hamster. She knows, she knows when the hamster's out and she sees her little butt running around and she's curious about it. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to think, I just, I'm getting, I'm getting tired and I need to cook my lunch for the next couple days. I need to take a shower, get fresh. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'm gonna vlog that because I just need to get it done without having to worry about the shots and stuff. So thank you guys for joining me on this little vlog, for joining me throughout the day. Oh, you know what I will? I ordered Jersey Mike's for dinner. So when Jersey Mike's comes, I will, I'll vlog a little bit of that, but the rest of the night, I gotta go to bed. It's Sunday, I gotta work tomorrow, I gotta get, I just, it's getting late and I, I was supposed to accomplish half of this stuff like hours ago. I had this plan to wake up, wake up in the morning, get everything done by mid afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, and just relax for the rest of sun, rest of the day. It's 7:30, so clearly that plan didn't work out. I'll see you guys for dinner. <laughs>